We're staying on top of developing news tonight on a homicide investigation. We reported it as breaking news on Eyewitness News. Live at Pot 5, police tell us the death of a woman in Fairhaven appears to be suspicious. Tonight, we're hearing more from the woman's stunned friends and neighbors. We're also learning more from police about the investigation. Eyewitness News reporter Mara Kennedy has the latest now from Fairhaven with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. We're learning more about Joyce Howland, the 69 year old woman who was found dead. I spoke to one of her very good friends right after she placed a rose on her front porch. A single red flower left by Ann Oser at 12 Hamlet Street in Fairhaven, the home where police say 69 year old Joyce Howland died. Why her? Oser tells Eyewitness News she and Helen were good friends. They worked together at East Fairhaven Elementary, where Helen taught third grade. She's just a great person, fun-loving person, and you know, just we won't bother anybody. Wouldn't bother or, anybody. Not a bad bone in her body. Oser tells us Helen lived by herself. A friend went to her house on Tuesday to check on her. That's when it was discovered Helen had died. Police initially investigated it as an unintended death. But hours later, the investigation intensified, and detectives are now investigating this case as a homicide. Police haven't given you any no. indication as to what's going on. You know, I mean, Extremely sh tight sh should they say something that we shouldn't be worried about anything, or should we take extra precautions? Late Wednesday night, the DA's office did tell Eyewitness News they believe the victim and the suspect knew each other, and there is no threat to the people of Fairhaven. Because of the investigation and the autopsy results, officials are still calling it a homicide. Reporting with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Mara Kennedy, Eyewitness News.